I like to make a general roadmap of my solo. So I want to know again, how long is a solo? Um, what style am I playing? Let's just say whatever loop style you want to play, you can, you can do that. So I say, okay, my solo is going to be 32 bars long. And let's say here's bar one and here's my imaginary 32 bars and here's bar 32, right? Here's bar one, here's bar 32. So what I want to do for this solo, and you can change this to, to however you want. I'm going to say, this is how I want my solo to go. I'm actually going to start, here's like the top of the graph and here's the bottom of the graph, okay? Here's level one, here's level 10. That's screaming, maybe almost breaking a string, level 10. So I'm going to start down here at one. I'm going to gradually tease up the audience a little bit, maybe bring them back down a second, and then I'm going to go pedal to the metal, level 10, and then fade out. So I have like a general kind of idea, just purely visual idea of what I want my solo to look like dynamically. So if I, call, I can call this my dynamic line of soloing, okay? And with this in mind, I can say, okay, I can break this up into maybe areas on the net. Uh, maybe right down the middle before I start going up, this is all going to be the lower register of my solo. And then I'm going to hop up the octave for the last half, because anytime you hop up an octave, it's going to sound a little bit more intense, right? Um, so I know the second half will be up the octave. Um, now, now that I have like a visual kind of representation of what I'm actually going to do, like a general roadmap for the shape of my solo, the arc of my solo, um, I can go back and look at the actual harmony 